Hi, I'm Selena. And I'm Stacy. And we're going to teach you how to safely play with fire today. So, before we start playing with fire safely, we need to make sure we have our two basic safety items. We need one person that will be our safety person, and we need our fire blanket. Today, I have my lovely assistant, Dan Fawn, here to help me out. He will be my fire assistant, and he is holding my safety blanket. This is just in case I end up getting caught on fire and start burning. He'll make sure to put me out very safely before I get seriously injured. So, we also need our items for our fire spinning performance. So first, you always want to make sure you have a towel. It can catch up any excess oil. You can use it to wipe your face, wipe down your clothes. Then we have our bottle of water, which we generally use just to make sure to, if we're trying to clean ourselves of excess fuel, it helps with that. And when you're fire eating, it's very useful to have around when you get thirsty. Then, whenever you're playing with fire, you always want to have chapstick on you. You can put this on your hand or your face to make sure that you don't get burned as easily. You want to have a lighter and a second lighter, just in case you run out. You don't want to end your performance unwillingly. Then we have our fire sticks. I personally bought these from Trick Concepts, which are very useful. Or you can make your own at home, but you're going to need to find a different video for that. And lastly, we have our fuel. So today I'm using white gas. It burns a lot easier, a lot hotter, but it can be extinguished very quickly. Today I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about fire eating. And as the name suggests, you actually will consume fire. Obviously you're not inhaling it. I suggest don't do that. You will die very painfully and very quickly. So in order to fire eat, first I'm going to teach you the basic steps on how to even start. <laughs> We're going to dip our tool into the fuel to start out with. But obviously I'm going to do a little bit of dry run first which means it's unlit. So first you want to make sure you get into a stance where your center of gravity is right in the middle. Then you want to make sure that your nose is almost reaching up to the sky. To start out with, you want to make sure that you light it almost instantaneously right before you're ready to go. The longer the wick burns, the hotter it gets. That means that you'll more likely to burn your mouth if you do that. So, we're ready. You want to make sure you stick out your tongue, and then you just want to engulf the whole thing. So, demonstration. And after you put it in your mouth, you want to wait at least four whole seconds to make sure that the fire is done and smothered in your mouth. Because if it's not, it will end up shooting up your face and burning your eyebrows off. And we don't want to do that. Now we're actually going to do a lit run of fire eating. So first you want to make sure that your tool is nice, moist from the fuel you're using. You want to make sure you wipe off any excess fuel just to make sure that it doesn't drip into your mouth. Because that would, that would not be fun. So again, you want to get into the stance and get ready. And that's how it's done. If you want, I'll even do it again. I'll try to get up closer to it and do a slow motion of it. As slow as I can get, I guess. And this is real, it's not fake. And that's how it's done. Alright, so next up, we're going to teach you guys a little bit more about fire transfers. And what that is, is you light one wick and you somehow transfer the fire to your second wick. Now, I'm going to demonstrate using your hand first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light one wick. The one that's not lit, I'm going to squeeze very gently just to get enough fuel on my fingertips so they'll light on fire when I touch the fire wick and then I can light the second one on fire and just snuff it out with my hand. Now we're going to do a lit round. So, again, you want to make sure that your tools are melted into the fuel. You want to whack off any extra fuel on it. This one I suggest being very careful with. So, what you want to do, make sure you have enough on your fingertips. And like that, you're done. Both sticks are lit. You do with whatever you want. Next, we're going to do what's called a tongue transfer. So this one, again, as the name suggests, you transfer the fire with your tongue. So, what you want to do is you want to make sure you're looking up. You'll tap the unlit tool against your tongue. Make sure that there's only a little bit of fuel on it and make sure it's towards the front of your tongue. Tap over the lit fuel and then you light it and then you just close your mouth. Make sure you don't inhale though. and Just keep it close and it'll smother itself out. Let's try it.
So again, you want to make sure that both of your tools are well endowed. Again, this one's dangerous, so be very careful. Like that, you're done. Now I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about how to light your clothes on fire. Before we start, I want to make sure that you guys are wearing the proper pants. We want to make sure that you guys are wearing jeans. 100% cotton denim jeans. And there's two different ways of doing this. So, you can have your tool unlit, just filled with fuel. You can swipe it down your pants, take a lighter, light it, and then swipe it up. Or, you can have this lit. Swipe it down, and then swipe your hand up over it. What you want to do is make sure that the, what's being lit on fire is just the oil and not your pants. So, when you swipe it up, you're actually just smothering the fire because it's very small, not very burning hot yet, and that's what's going to keep you guys safe. So, now we're actually going to do it lit. So, again, dump the tool into the seal, it up. So, first I'm going to make sure clearly see there's quite a bit of fuel on my leg. And just like that, it's done. And again, that doesn't look nearly as impressive as the lighting issue. It's a lit. So, again, you kind of do the same basic thing. And again, this is why we have a safety person, just in case, because it is a little nerve-wracking. Alright, would you like to try that again? Let's do it. So, when you put it on, you want to make sure that your hand is right up against your leg, and just swipe it. So make sure your hand is strong against your leg. There you go. Alright. So that will be the end of our presentation, but before we go, I want to thank Trick Concepts for their awesome tools that I'm able to use and for their information on fire safety. And I would also like to thank Dan for assisting us in making sure to keeping us safe. No problem. And remember, don't try these at home. Go to professionals. <laughs>